There are two inventory management systems we need to cover. First one is the periodic inventory system. Second one is the just-in-time system. Another thing, if at all you want to ask anything, I encourage questions in the class. The only thing is you will raise your hand. You will not interrupt me mid-speech. Okay? Please keep that in mind. Now, when I'm talking of inventory management system, I basically want to check when should I do an inventory count? When should I do a review of the inventory? When should I check whether the inventory needs to be replenished? There are two systems. One is the periodic review system, which in your F2 and F3, you have looked at it in terms of, you know, inventory is reviewed at fixed interval. There could be a monthly inventory count. There could be a quarterly inventory count. There could be a six month inventory count. Now, there is a physical verification of inventory which takes place. And if you observe that my reorder level is 4,000 units and I am already at a stock level of 4,500. You need to know when should you place the next order. Next order, You should also decide based on your past experience, what is the EOQ number? What is the best quantity that you can order? And you should also ensure that the safety stock level that you want to maintain, whether you have it with you at a particular point of time. Periodic review system. Periodic, the word itself suggests it is at the end of a certain time interval. It could be 15 days, it could be 30 days, it could be 25 days, depending on what the company wants. And it can change based on the requirement. The next system is your just-in-time system. Now, just-in-time, Kanban, then all of these are basically Japanese or technologies of Japanese origin, basically, which came up, which evolved in order to prevent wastage of inventory, in order to prevent wastage of any activity which does not add value. Now, usually what happens is you order a certain amount of material and it remains in your godown. And either the material gets spoiled or what you order is way less than what you need to service your customers. And yesterday we saw what are the issues with very high level of inventory and very low. To prevent this from happening, to reduce your handling cost, to reduce the inventory wastage, this particular system came into existence. What does just-in-time mean? Only that much inventory is ordered, which is necessary to fulfill an order. If that means you have to place an order over and over again, you place an order over and over again. And in that case, you don't pick a supplier which is 500 kilometers away. You pick a supplier who is close by. You place an order only when you have an order. Now, if we are talking of home bakers, they will place an order only when they have an order from someone so that the raw material does not get wasted. If you are painting, that paint might get expired. So all of these items, if you, if you use the JIT system, you will save on material, you will save on cost. So in this case, mein, you will only focus on those suppliers whose order cost is low. You will only focus on those suppliers whose lead time is known and constant. You will only focus on those suppliers who will not cause any unwarranted delay in the delivery of material. So just-in-time inventory system, okay, any activity which does not add value has to be completely removed. Now, it also means the process of manufacturing has to evolve in a certain way. You have to have a very good liaison with the suppliers, with the customers, with the transportation agencies, so you ensure that there is absolutely no delay in delivery. So, so that you ensure that when you want the material, it is readily available in your premises. Now, smooth flow of work throughout the manufacturing plant. The moment you have a continuous supply of inventory as and when you need, your production process becomes smooth. Sometimes if you don't have the raw material, you have to machine ban karna padega. If you turn off the machine next time when you want to launch a new uh, batch of production, again, the setup cost will be involved. So how to space these uh, output processes? That is smooth flow of work, reduction of phase stage, flexible process, which is responsive to customer requirements, basically in case where they want customized products. Now, in this day and age, a lot of activities can be customized, even T-shirts. Maybe 10 years ago, customizing a T-shirt was a big deal. Now you have so many portals online where you give the specification and a T-shirt is manufactured. 
वो बना के नहीं रखते है बना के रखा तो वेस्ट हो जाएगा ना दे आस्क यू वॉट डिजाइन यू वॉन्ट यू चूज अ डिजाइन यू पिक अ कलर बेस्ड ऑन दैट दे मेक इट वट आर द इनग्रीडियंट दे नीड दे नीड द क्लॉथ दे नीड द डाई एंड दे नीड ऑल द स्यूविंग इक्विपमेंट सो प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस बिकम्स वे मोर फ्लेक्सिबल बिकॉज नाउ इट इज ओरियंटेड ओरियंटेड टू टेक इन the customer requirements and there is a reduction in capital tied up in inventory sirf utna inventory hai jitne ka zarurat hai no excess inventory no excess inventory means no uh, high storage cost no high storage cost no high handling cost no theft no pilferage because in a lot of industries you ultimately will have a situation where your staff will end up stealing goods in small quantity you know the feeling is are ये किसको पता चलेगा इट हैपन्स थोड़ा सा ही तो है उतना कर लेता हूं दिस इज जस्ट वन टाइम सो ऑल ऑफ दैट कैन बी अवॉइडेड 